No, si quiere ir a Sulci. Honorable Deputy Chairman, sir, thank you very much for giving me an opportunity of speaking on the motion of thanks. I want to say that while listening to the speech of the Honorable President, I was waiting to hear a word of concern or sympathy with regard to the catastrophic impact which the demonetization policy of the government had. The effect of demonetization was felt in the areas of employment as well as industry. However, the deafening silence in the address is a matter of great concern because not even a word of condolence to the families of those over a hundred who lost their lives while standing in the queues to withdraw money. I just fail to understand as to what would have caused this kind of a catastrophe. It is said that the design of the new notes was finalized on 19th May 2016. If the design had been finalized on 19th May, what prevented the government from printing the notes? What prevented the government from recalibrating the ATMs? This is a tragedy in which over a hundred lives are lost and no one is sorry about the catastrophic effect or even the loss of lives of our countrymen. There is no assurance of employment to, in the families of those who have died because the government doesn't want to acknowledge the fact that people have died standing in the queues. There is no compensation, there is no assurance of employment, there is nothing in this which will give an assurance with regard to revival of industries which have shut down. The government promised one crore jobs every year. Two crore. Now, instead of providing jobs, what has happened is that the millions of jobs have been lost, have been taken away from people who are gainfully employed. According to the fifth annual employment unemployment survey conducted in October 2016, the unemployment rate was the highest in five years. If the unemployment rate was already highest in five years, one can imagine the 60,000 further jobs which are lost as a result of, as a direct result of demonetization policy. The, the survey also states that 77% of the rural households have no regular income and earn a monthly income of less than 10,000 rupees. This is the survey which is conducted by the Labor Bureau which comes under the Labor Ministry. Was the government unaware of the distressful situation of employment that it adopted at that very moment the demonetization policy. The economic growth of a nation is decided by the rate of employment. The address does not unfortunately mention anything as to how the industrial sector has been hit by demonetization. For example, Ludhiana Hosri industry which provides employment to 4 lakh people, 70% of its units have shut down. The address mentioned Swachh Bharat Abhiyan and claimed that more than 3 crore toilets have been constructed. But it did not mention 
How many of these toilets are functional? National Sample Survey Office <laughs> revealed that in 2016-17, only 46% of the 95 lakh toilets which are built are usable and therefore they, they cannot be a more classic example of wastage of taxpayers' money than this. This also amounts to a breach of promise and a breach of faith and misleading the country that this was in fact to, to rake out the black money. Black money is not kept in cash, everybody knew that. In, in fact, they have turned every Indian into a criminal. That if you have cash, your cash is going to be confiscated and you have to stand in the queue and you cannot even withdraw your own money. This kind of a sh spectacle has not been seen in India after partition. I, I hope that the government claims that the outlay for railways has been increased, but it does not mention that hundreds of lives have been lost in never-ending never accidents of the trains on account of lack of safety on the tracks. I hope that they will not launch a bullet train on these tracks which cannot even take 60 kilometers of speed. I wish the address would have mentioned as to how many Jawans have been, have been killed in the borders after the surgical strikes and how their families are, are getting along and whether any of them have been either assured a job or been compensated, failing to mention the sacrifices of our Jawans, in fact, belittles their martyrdom. I did not find a, a word of concern as to how farmers are racking out a living when they are not even getting a minimum price for their crops. And all in all, I, I feel that the government needs to introspect and examine their failure in the, in the field of industry, agriculture and employment. Thank you. Thank you.